Welcome to my channel, everybody. I am excited because I finally have good housing for my little buns. And I wanted to share with you guys how my setup is. It's still a work in progress, but um, I wanted to share with you guys and see what you think. Please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it if you would subscribe and put in your comments what you think of my setup. My um, cousin Penny is wonderful and helped me get these, these hutches so that I was able to make a really good home for the buns. Let me show you. So this was her favorite hutch that she sold me. And you know what? I don't blame her. This is an awesome one. I currently have um, his name is Red Bull. He's a red satin angora, and I kind of did a hatch job cutting him his fur, but he's got a lot of mats on him, so I wanted him to be more comfortable. Apparently, he doesn't like cucumbers, <laughs> but he's in this in this hutch for now. I'm going to move him around later. I don't have everything set up yet completely. It's a work in progress. Please please meet the one and only Lorenzo um, Emmanuel Brown. Is he not the cutest little bun ever? He's been, he doesn't like cucumbers either apparently, but he likes spinach because he ate all his spinach. Hi sweetie, how are you doing? How are you doing sweet boy? Oh my gosh, he is looking for a home and he is the sweetest. Are you getting a dwink? You're getting a dwink. I just love him. He's so cute. So he's in this cage, in this hutch. It's so nice to have a hutch. He didn't even eat all his spinach I gave him either. They have water, they have food, they're pellets. I do have mats coming so that they have a place to rest so they're not on the wire all the time. So don't judge, that is on its way. It's supposed to come today from Amazon, just so you know. So. I don't, I don't like them all being on wires all the time either, so that is on its way. But the good thing is this wire is a small wire, so that's better than the big thick wire or the big spaced wire. Then we have Meanie, Miney, and Mo down here. I have them in the little run right now because I'm currently working on their hutch. It's a work in progress, as I said. It's not done yet. Here's Miney and Mo, or Meanie and Miney, whoever you want to, whoever you want to call. I don't care. They're little rescues, and they're so adorable. They're really not. There's one of the brown ones that's super friendly. That you, I think it's the lighter one that you can hold and stuff. He's he doesn't. He's not bad. I really like him. The other ones are a little bit of a challenge, but I'm working with them. Just by picking them up and putting them in there and taking them out and putting them in a hutch, it makes a difference. That's Minnie. Minnie, Miney, and Mo. I think he's the tiniest one there. Hi, sweeties. Hi, sweeties. Then in this hutch, there's Patch. I put this over the top to keep them out of the direct sunlight. So they do have shade because this one doesn't have a top to it. Love this hutch though. He's got his food and his water and he's got hay in there. He did have a cucumber, but he, like the others, does not like cucumbers. I have picky rabbits. Why are my buns so picky? Patch is a lion head Angora mix and he is also for sale. He is a wonderful little guy. He's very friendly, I like him. And then we have, I haven't changed his name yet. This is Mopsy. Mopsy is not a doe, he is a buck. Penny? <laughs> I do like Mopsy, he's a very sweet, beautiful Angora, beautiful Angora. He's got his hay there, so he's off the wire a little bit till I get those little things I ordered. He's got his food and water, he's good. This is the other hutch I'm working on. I'm gonna nail this down. I cleaned it all out, I still need to sanitize it. Probably clean it out a little better yet. I'm gonna put the three, these three that are down in here, in this one. 
because it's all one big one. So this will be perfect for these three. That's the plan. This is the dough hutch. I've got the satins on the top and the, angora, the English angoras on the bottom. They're hiding in here. I put ice water in there just in case they're getting warm. Love these satins. They're so sweet. I got food and water in here and an ice bottle. They're not real keen on me yet. I'm working with them. I've cleaned all this out, sanitized it. I put some hay in there. I know that's probably not the best with their fur, but I'm not worried about it. It'll be fine. I'll brush them out. Hi, honey. Oh, she's so pretty. They are stunning. Just stunning. I like them. And I like that they can come inside and out. This is a great, great cage. Here's the other at the bottom. These are my girls. This is Daphne and Olive. This is Daphne, that's Olive. And you all, the only way I can tell is because they're my girls. And I've raised them since they were five months old. They're six months old now. <laughs> they have their water bottles and they, oh, you guys, this water is about gone. What did you do? I need to give them some more water. I'll give them some more water now. What are you guys doing? Are you thirsty? Let's get you guys some water here. Can I have that? I don't think that's a good water bowl for them. I need to get them a different one. She's moving her. One thing, whenever you give the buns water, make sure that it's not hot water. I'm going to hose and it's been sitting out. Look at her. She's relaxing. So cute. I love this cage for them. This is a great cage. Here, watch out, honey. Watch out if you need some waters. Good thing I came out and checked. Yeah, that's not a good bowl. I mean, I'm gonna get him a different bowl for that. I don't like it. It doesn't, it doesn't work good in there. And you can't really tie a bottle on here very well. Otherwise, they'd have a bottle on here because they can drink out of a bottle really good. They have their food right there. These girls have their food in the thing. But yeah. Hi, Olive girl. She's eating. Does she like her food? I love their faces. They're so cute. Cute faces. She's eating. So I'm gonna get her a new water bowl for them. We may even try to hang a different water bottle up for them. Maybe that might be better. I'm not sure how to handle that situation. But Meanie, Miney, and Mo are enjoying the little run I have set up for them. Isn't this cute? It goes all the way from there all the way down. I think all buns should be able to take it out and run around once in a while. So I do take them out so you can see They've got water. Their pell pellets and stuff will be in their, in their, oh look, he's relaxing. These are all three bucks. He's relaxing. And when it's super hot, I have these towels out here because I'll spray down the towels. It's really not bad out today though. It's only in the 80s, so it's not bad. I, I only really worry about the angoras when it's, it's pretty humid out today, but eh. So cute. Yeah, I like this little run. I may split it in two so I can let more than just these guys out, but I have another run over there too. Excuse my yard, it's kind of a mess right now. I'm trying to organize it. This is another run that I have. I should probably let another bun out. I don't think it's gonna rain now. This is a hutch that you never want to buy. I hate that hutch because it doesn't have a place for their poo to go and their pee, so they just sit in it, and I hate that. It's just not very sanitary. And it does attract flies, I've noticed. So I cleaned it out. I've got the bottom there. 
the bottom is there and I'm probably just not going to use it for a while. It's just not a good, it was good temporarily. I just used it temporarily, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button and I appreciate you watching my channel and we'll have more bun stuff down the road because I have lots of fun new buns. Thank you. Bye.